Hi everyone, my name is Julie. Thank you so much for watching. I apologize for this. It's just what my voice got today. So, let's get into it. I'm so excited for filming this video. I'm so excited because we get to collab. It's an update of a collab. I am collabing with Rachel Winters. I am collabing with Lena. And I am collabing with Amanda and Sina, and this has grown so much, and it makes me so happy that it started with just Rachel and I, and now it's grown to so many wonderful women who want to jump on board. If you didn't read the title, <laughs> this is my most expensive project pan. We're doing our skincare edition. We've done this multiple, multiple times, and we've chosen a different category every time to choose our most expensive products, and we've done skincare this time. As you guys know, I've already finished one of my most expensive skincares, and I'm totally bummed I didn't finish my second one for this update, but the good news is we still have the finale to go. I have had some really good progress this year, some great wins, so let me show you what I should have finished, but I just didn't. And that's my mask. This is the Kale... Oh, I just hiccup there, excuse me. Kaolin Blackhead Steam Pore Pack, and you can see... I actually am on the bottom, like right there, that's the bottom. So I really only have one, one and a half uses left on this mask. So I know I'm going to be done with this, and I'm really glad because it's getting super, super oily. It's to the point where I think it actually might be going bad. <laughs> so I'm excited that this one is going to be finished here. Ugh, I now have oil all over my hands. Why do they do that? But I love that mask. It's one that had... Um, like rock particles in it, pumice, that's what I'm talking about, pumice particles, and you put it on, it heats up, and it really feels like it does good things for my mask, for my face, the mask on my face, and I got it from Sephora, it is stinking expensive, I don't know if they sell it anymore, I'll have to look it up, um, it's not my favorite mask, so I probably won't be repurchasing it, but I like it. This has been like a steady, steady product for me, this is the Dr. Jart Water Drop Hydrating Moisturizer, um, I like this too. Um, I think I'm a little bit further down where I marked, so I was there last month, I am now there, but I think I might actually be further than that mark. It's so hard for me to tell. Um, it's, it's getting to the point where actually the product's spurting at me when it comes out. Um, not every time, but like every other time it's doing that, which makes me think, you know, we're, we're further down than it looks. But I'm hoping to finish the one up. I'll be close on this one. This one, um, if you guys know, I took a little vacation over Christmas and New Year's. I don't know if I mentioned it, but if you follow me on my Instagram, you saw some of where I've been. And I, I didn't take this with me, so I'm two weeks kind of behind on this guy. Um, so we'll see how it, it goes. I kind of wish I brought this with me, but say la vie, I did not. <laughs> For the eye cream, I have progress, <laughs> visual progress. So this is the Beauty Counter Nourishing Eye Cream. You guys know last month I, I wasn't able to mark this, which was a total bummer. So I was there for the last two months and now I'm down there. Um, I kind of like bang this, tap this, <laughs> let it sit up while I was gone. This is also something I did not take on vacation with me. So this doesn't have as much use as I was hoping, um, especially since that actually marks two months of use, what? But I am really proud. I don't think I'm going to finish this one uh, like I was hoping to, but I'm going to be really close on finishing it up. But apparently this takes me six to seven months to use up, which I think is crazy how long it takes to use an eye cream because I have another one already in my collection. I actually have three already in my collection, <laughs> which is bad. I got to really, really not buy skincare this year. Um, last but certainly not least is this little jelly ball. This is the Bosha Charcoal Jelly Ball, and it is now completely misshapen. <laughs> and what's interesting is the texture has totally completely changed. Like, do you remember before how it jiggled? It does not jiggle anymore. While it is soft and pliable, it I think whatever was in here evaporated. Like, the water in here evaporated, and it leaves pure soap now. So this is basically like using a bar of soap. So when I wash my hands, very little gets used each time. Um, no when I put it in my hands to wash my face. This is a face wash, this should be a very, very expensive uh, <laughs> hand wash. Um, but I'm hoping to use it up. Again, this did not come with me on my travels, so, you know, we're a little bit behind <laughs> on using that up. I don't see any discernible difference between the last time I updated, but I'm hoping there is. So there we go. Everyone I'm collaborating with will be linked down below. Please check them out. They are such amazing women. They're so much fun to watch. They're in like this tanning community. And you know, if that's your New Year's resolution, if that's how you found me, hi, welcome. I am 
working on it. <laughs> totally working on it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.